Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm here to give you recaps and reactions to all the movie panels today at DC Fandom. Uh, it started today with Wonder Woman 84. We had the entire main cast show up, along with director Patty Jenkins, and a surprise appearance from Linda Carter. Uh, the DC Fandom experience is interesting. It's all pre-taped. It's all edited, uh, and it all has fans who have uh, sent in questions prior. Uh, it does, ha you know, featured a lot of softball questions, I'll be honest, uh, but the energy was still there. It was really nice to see this cast together, their excitement. Uh, Patty did reveal that they are sticking it out to cinemas. Uh, and then Gal said they were doing this event and releasing the new trailer, which I'm going to break down for you in a minute. Uh, they were doing this to obviously just give the fans something. Uh, no date was announced, uh, but we'll go through the trailer together in a minute. Uh, they talked about the 80s inspiration, and Patty sort of compared how much more, more fun it was. Is it different from doing the 1917 approach in the first film? Uh, and just really, it was really nice to see all these beautiful fans across the world be there. While I wish it was had a little bit more of the live energy there was something nice about having the music kick in and have it just look a little uh, more stylish um you know it, we didn't get anything breaking or massive except for that trailer uh, aside from that Kristen wig uh told a funny story about her wig being pulled off i get it Kristen wigs wig yeah i know it wasn't much more but she did sort of turn into an snl character it was kind of funny her appreciation of linda carter uh when she showed up uh was pretty adorable i gotta say uh linda Car carter showing up was probably it was easy the best moment of that and Patty and Gal uh, sharing their love of her uh, was really f uh, fun and nice to see. Um, I'm trying not to show too much of the clips because I know uh, they, they're being uh, lit, pulling some of these things. Uh, but Linda Carter showing up, uh, t talking to the cast how much they love her. But Kristen Wiig speaking up specifically to share her love of uh, Linda Carter was very nice uh, and became a bit of a fangirl. It, it, but it was a nice moment. Uh, aside from that, uh, Linda said a really amazing story. She was telling a gal and the whole t cast and Patty, when my daughter saw Gal, I finally got it. I got why everyone idolized you. And so it was just sort of this touching, very quick but touching soundbite that Linda shared, uh, remarking on the fact that even her own daughter sort of didn't get it, like seeing her mom in the, in the old Wonder Woman garb and stuff like that. Why did the people care? And then when she saw Gal in today's world and generation, she's like, oh, I get it. You were, you were this then. Wow. That is so cool, mom. Uh, it was a really like, touching, <laughs> slightly sad, but, you know, really great to hear that even Linda's daughter got to, you know, be around and be involved in this new resurgence of Wonder Wonder Woman, which took forever, let's be honest. Uh, but it was a really nice um, uh, piece there. And, and Patty spoke in such high regard to Linda, uh, saying, we aren't here to reinvent Wonder Woman. We never were. We were here to pass the torch. Uh, and she just sent so much love Linda Carter's way that it was actually a really nice thing to watch. Uh, so there we had it. So that was the main event, uh, you guys. I, mean, I, I think this is only going to be up for first 24 hours. They showed some fan uh, shots and such, uh, but um, it, it was just nice to see them all together. They're all clearly getting along. And then, yes, they revealed the trailer, which now Warner Brothers hasn't dropped, uh, and I'm going to be careful of how much I show you just because, again, these studios, man, they don't really like the reactions, but I really overall loved this trailer. I highly implore you go watch the YouTube link I'm just going to be breezing through sharing you my thoughts. Uh, if you want to see the full one, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, but you're here for sort of a recap reaction. That's what's going to happen today. Uh, but, you know, really cool uh, set pieces. The world looks epic. Uh, we see Max Lord, it, it looks like in the White House, uh, offering the world uh, anything they want. Uh, and sort of all hell breaks loose. We see Barbara, uh, who turns into Cheetah, Kirsten Wiggs' character, uh, sort of remarking she wants to be an apex predator. Uh, but we also, anything you can do, dream you can have it uh we then also get to see gal returning <gasps> steve trevor you look like you saw a ghost and he says you know you uh you know you haven't aged a day since i left uh she sort of walks off with him uh it's not like one day has passed uh and she gets to leave off this was a funny this is a cool moment she shows in as wonder woman all amazing and then she follows up and she just no one cares uh setting up the tone for what the movie clearly is of her her jealousy, uh, as Jody called it, it seems like there's a clearly a friendship between these two. Uh, and then, you know, she's goes off in this montage. People like me have nothing. I, I like the setup. It, it, I, I thought I was going to know everything, but it seems like I didn't. Uh, and then here we had our first reveal of Kirsten Wig showing up to fight, uh, 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 gal in, uh, in this white house scene, uh, which is pretty epic to see her lunging and fighting, uh, without the cheetah garb. Uh, we had this amazing scene, which we had seen alluded in the first trailer, which I really enjoyed as well. Uh, but lots more Kirsten Wig in a, in a clearly serious part. Uh, and then she shows up 
as Cheetah, I know there's a really funny part here where she's like, he's like, I, in the way I fly, no one's going to find me. And then, uh, Kel <laughs> goes, Oh, I got to tell you about radar. It, it was, it did make me laugh. There's a few moments where clearly, uh, Chris Pine is going to be another sort of add some comic relief to the film and in, in a good way, I think. And then at the end we get to see, uh, this first reveal of Cheetah. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try and put this in slow-mo so you guys can actually get, maybe we can get away with that because it's transformative, right? But here we have, here we have the first, uh, turn up the music. Uh, why didn't that go down? We're going to watch this in slow-mo. Oh, sorry. I watched that. Let's watch that in half speed. We got these first shots of, of Cheetah, which you can watch now in slow-mo as we break this down. Uh, oh, I'll go back. Oh, this shot here where she breaks that off is awesome. But we're going to look, Barbara, what did you do? This first reveal of Cheetah coming in is pretty epic. And there it is. Bam, bam. There she is on all fours, rushing. We don't really get to see too HD of a shot. It's just, you know, there's it's there. But the tail and all, she's, uh, she's swinging. That's probably the best shot we're going to get right there of face. She does. Let's be honest. <laughs> this, this wasn't that far off, guys. Uh, granted, it looks cooler in action, but... I mean, like, look at the makeup. It's pretty much spot on what we thought. You know, there's a little bit more, obviously, cheetah parts to it. But everyone was making fun of me saying, it's not going to look like that. I mean, upon close-up, it does look a little bit like that, let's be honest. Uh, but it does look cooler in action. And seeing the the, the pause there, I mean, I, I dig it. I'm, I'm interested. How, how this happens, I'm very curious. How do they justify this in the world is something I definitely want to learn more about. Uh, but there we get cheetah. In all her glory, running like a cheetah for real. Look at that. Uh, and then here we got the shot. Bam! Uh, there's there's the face shot we've been waiting for uh, of of cheetah. Now look, it it does look better. It doesn't look very Kristen Wiig there. It looks like a stunt woman there, but uh, it does look pretty much the exact same. So this was pretty pretty spot on with the hair pulled back uh, the, and everything else, but clearly as an actual cheetah. Uh, but I like this look of her. Um, it's a cool, uh, in fact, I'm going to frame grab that one so I have it for later because sometimes it's hard to get. Uh, we have a cool shot of her there in the in uh, full uh, makeup. What did you do, Barbara? And then we get this amazing shot of her throwing the wings off, which I loved um, as Barbara's swinging and coming at her. Um, the, the uh, big punch moment as we're about to get it. And there it is. Bang! It's grabbing her and yanking her. You can't mess with Wonder Woman. Come on, Cheetah. Uh, but look, I'm looking forward to these fights. We get to see, finally got to see them in action fighting, uh, setting the tone for what we got. And I, I hope uh, I hope this works. Again, it's a lot of CGI. It's a lot of CGI Kristen Wiig because you can't move like that otherwise. Uh, but she's looking pretty menacing. Our first look at Cheetah. There's the wing shot. Uh, boom. I'm going to throw down on this cheetah here. Uh, it's a cool shot. Uh, so there you have it. Wonder Woman 84. And then we got a nice little uh, funny call out to the end uh, about, you know, parachute pants uh, and fanny packs. Uh, but yeah, only in cinemas is what they said there. They didn't reveal a date, uh, which is pretty telling. Uh, we don't know. Only in cinemas in uh, in English, Hindu, Tamil, and Telugu. Uh, but they did not, they did not announce still still unsure if it's going to stick to its november time they keep alluding to or if uh they're gonna move it to the spring which i, I, I kind of think they should uh but there you have it that's our first uh trailer our first panel reaction to wonder woman 84 what did you guys think overall my reaction i, I was positive the fandom is definitely uh overly produced is my first comment uh but at the same time i gotta admit as a fan and sitting back watching, I did feel like an excitement of being able to watch it with everybody else at home. And I really did think it was beautiful when the fans got to sort of show up and fan out with them on the, on the sort of Zoom chat, their very extreme Zoom chat they have. Uh, and at the same time, uh, it was nice that we all got to watch it at once. And the trailer was great. And the Linda Carter moment was very nice to see them all together. Uh, but aside from that, the trailer is really the best thing to watch. It gives us a taste. And I didn't think it spoiled too much. So I'm happy to break that, broke that down with you. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing more throughout the week. I'm going to obviously get in with Jody fight about this a little bit more so lots more coming so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned today for more coverage of dc fandom